Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh shit, sorry. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's my phone, I've turned it off now. Oh, okay. All right. Welcome, everybody, to the first episode of the Daylight Blues podcast. I'm your host, Will. And as per always, I'm joined by my first co host. You may recognize him from other podcasts, such as the Tim Tom podcast, now turning into the Czar Music podcast. It's Mr. Tom. Hello. And my second co host, who made his directorial debut at the age of 18 with a cult classic, The Gardens of the Netherlands. And we're all waiting his sequel to his masterpiece, The Gardens of Snowdonia. Yeah, it when's that coming out? James. Hey, guys. Um, I mean, like with many things, Tom, it's, uh, it's just been delayed because of COVID. The thing is, we, we lost James Bond and then we lost Gardens of Snowdonia. And like, damn, what more could we want? That is... Uh, that's a double hit right there. Yeah. But um, I, as director, producer, um, part Star. actor, I will. I, I promise to get it out some some point this year for for the boys to see. Yeah, basically, for people who don't know, we went to well, not Tom, but me, James, and a couple of other people went to uh, Wales for a week when we were allowed to before the whole world closed. Collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> Colla- yeah. yeah. Before the whole world collapsed, basically. Um, did a little film. for a second time that year. Yeah, well, mm. I feel like it was more than a second time. <laughs> uh, who knows how many breakdowns twenty twenty had? It's a bit like Kanye during an election run, you know. Breakdown. Yeah, so, we okay. did travel to Snowdonia. We did lots of fun things as well. We could talk about some of them later on, but um, should we discuss some of the projects we've got planned with this new podcast of ours? All right. Yeah. Uh, so, just sort of came about the uh, the Tim Tom podcast was sadly, well, not necessarily ending, but uh, it's a new, re- it's hitting a new beginning. It's reforming yeah. as uh, Tom has retired from public life to live a life in Turkey, a secret life as a as an uh, Ozma Empire. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. I don't yeah. know if he knows what he's doing. I think he's been conquered. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom has rebranded a music podcast he does with uh, another friend of ours uh, both me and Jan were interested in doing mm-hmm. something with him so we sort of formed this from it just a bit of fun sort of see where it goes yeah just um, do some rambles do some um, but we, we also want to do some music related podcasts as well don't we yeah do some reviews uh, maybe some sort of more long form discussions about topics sort of like best albums and stuff like that um and then hopefully... i mean we we definitely should as we do have the pro tom with us so true yeah and <laughs> then mean, like hopefully we can all spotify music deal. Good. oh damn that would be good <laughs> spotify if you're listening hit us up <laughs> They love just giving people money to do podcasts. Yeah, they gave the, the Happy Hour podcast got a Spotify deal. Like, I think we can do it. Surely. I mean, we can definitely give people a happy hour. Oh, only if they pay the right price. What would be that price? <laughs> I'm not going to... I think you'd that's have to talk, legal You'll have to speak to our agent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Tom, how much would that be? <laughs> uh, let's not disclose that right now. Okay, no worries. I feel like this is a good chance to change topic. <laughs> <laughs> I think already we've gone down a tangent that we should not explore any further. Into down, a down a rabbit hole, yeah. Yeah. So, we're trying to sell out already. New Year, new podcast. Boys, have you made any uh, New Year's rev- resolutions for 2020? No, 2021 even. Jesus, not 2020. Yeah, well, d- don't remind us of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> um, personally, not really. I'm not really a resolutions person. Fair enough. I think I'm going to be an anti-masker in 2021. <laughs> 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 okay. a hobby, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like similar to the Fat Earth Society? Um... In a way, I mean, we're all con- conform to some kind of conspiracy. Okay, interesting. But instead of denying basic facts, we just want to—I don't know. You say we? There's already there's already a collective. 
maybe yeah. you can maybe you can get in there, Tom, in a They're everywhere. some insight. insight. The yeah. is, there is probably a Facebook group full of anti maskers already, like organizing rallies and shit. There's been protests. I yeah, there was that one in London, wasn't there, where they all went into Trafalgar Square and were like, why are we going back into lockdown whilst they're all standing right next to each other, breathing on each other, sneezing on each other? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I saw a lot of anti-maskers at the, uh, at the Capitol building recently in America. Come no, on. they were fighting for democracy, Jam. Come on. Oh, wow. I mean... <laughs> they were yeah. fighting for democracy by denying the vote of the people. And that's I definitely feel like we now. live in British privilege, not having to deal with what they are at the moment. Yeah. I don't know. I would quite like a celebrity to run for prime minister. <laughs> who would you like? Who's who? Who is our Kanye? Who is the UK's Kanye? Well, I think yeah. even Donald Trump's effectively yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. And uh, and uh, Ronald, though, Ronald yeah. Reagan got the gig as well, didn't he? And he was an actor. He did. Mm. So, all right, that's a good question to start with. Who from the UK re- you do you reckon should run for our PM? Alan Sugar. <laughs> oh, I mean he's. I can see the similarities to Trump. It's got that business mind, you know. They both run the apprentice. Run the apprentice. It would make the cabinet <laughs> meetings more tense because everyone they'll be sat around that big table and they'll be worried that they're just going to get fired like out of nowhere. You're fired. Yeah, they'll be discussing like foreign policy or something. He'd be like, "You're not good enough. You're not doing the job. You're right. fired." And then like the music will start playing and they have to walk out. <laughs> I'm an elected <laughs> <a> politician. <laughs> <laughs> The prime minister has gone too far. He's just started firing people. <laughs> He's got Claude and Karen either side of him always, even though they weren't elected. To be fair, Claude would be a good like, um, like the whip. He'd be savage, is that? He's just a stone cold bastard. Okay, I think I'd like to see the beast from uh, the chase. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> run for prime minister. <laughs> What would be funny if, if the beast from the chase was like the um, the chair of the commons and you know where he sat on that seat if he had like the red box in front of him and every yeah. time someone said ro- something wrong the red box came closer and closer <laughs> and they got kicked out of the house. Maybe um, Noel Edmonds? <laughs> <laughs> Is he still alive? Was he not claimed by 2020? What does he no, do? No, Noel Edmonds <laughs> I wonder what deals he made in 2020. He was just opening bin lids saying deal or no deal. <laughs> on, the it's on the other side. <laughs> Three pounds. Yeah. I feel like Idris Elba would be popular. But mm. I don't think he'd be that good. No, I don't think he knows a lot about politics. No. And now that like... he's done the TikTok ad, he's kind of gone down in my estimations. Mm. Oh god, I hate the TikTok. TikTok is trying to do what every social media does. Is like it's trying to rebrand itself as like a place where you can learn things, not where you can spend four hours just wasting your life watching yeah. just videos, mindless videos yeah. of face boosted people. Just own it. what you are. Because it's it these... so mindless TikTok, and that really blew up last year, didn't it? Yeah, they had a good TikTok. Yeah, because it, when it came out, it it just began with. It was just a meme, wasn't it? But now yeah. it's just this really serious platform. And like, it was a good place to bully people at first. <laughs> <laughs> Children have made millions of it, and like no mm. other platform has done that. Like Vine, the Vine stars were not like millionaires going on the Tonight Show and stuff. They sort of became more famous after Vine died. And mm. same, like the only like famous person from musically was that Jacob Sartorius kid, but still he's not that relevant anymore. But like the Demilios. He made a sweatshirt song, right? I thought you were going to say he made a sweatshop. I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay, no, Vine was not a, um, a gateway to making sweatshops. Let's clear that up. <laughs> He's the type of kid that I try and convince to work at my sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if I had one? Juice. I mean, MAGA hats. No, the MAGA hat wearers are all at the Capitol building. Oh yeah, fighting for democracy. Did you see that? Did you see that they all like raided it like it was Assassin's Creed? And then as soon as they get inside, there's like a bit that was, it was like roped off, and they just orderly formed a queue like charging through it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was some absolutely crazy scenes. It did look. It was just there were people with grappling hooks like climbing the side of it. 
Where did I get those from? I didn't realise they were real things. Like, I they're they're, they're these like, survivalist people and they've got their kits ready for when a democracy dies and we go day. into a, an apocalyptic world. Yeah. yeah all the doomsday preppers. Yeah. Uh, it's surprising that more people didn't get shot or anything because I, only, only, I think only four people died or something. Yeah, not, not many, but um, there was hardly any... Um, Resistance, if you compare it to the images of such as the Black Lives Matter. Yeah, that's um, true. Did you yeah. see the video of that? <laughs> it looked like something from a 90s horror film. There was like this white dude charging towards this police officer who was like just slowly reversing up the stairs. And I was just expecting him to like fall over and scream as the white dude like jumps on him and kills him or something. <laughs> but like if you compare that to the Black Lives Matter thing where like yeah, they were all charging peacefully, and then the police were like, "Do you know what they need? They need a little bit of tear gas." <laughs> <laughs> they're just—they're marching a little bit too peacefully. Like, there's something suspicious about this. Yes, yeah, so let's open our doors to them. Yeah, privilege of being white, eh? Yeah. Plus, they were it... fighting for democracy, so I presume the police were fine with that. Yeah. Did you? There was like one of the policemen, or one of the security guards, was like taking selfies with them or something. <laughs> it's just like that's a conflict of interest. And but they then, were just letting them in. It was all fine. Yeah, it was a bit like it was a bit like Clash of Clans or something. Like they all just swarmed in, <laughs> just like breaking stuff. They all just appeared and swarmed in. Yeah, your barbarians, your archers, yeah. Yeah. your wizards. Where was this energy when we were trying to invade Area 51? Yeah, there wasn't. Wasn't there like yeah. one guy who like Naruto runs behind the news report? <laughs> well, that was the plan. They were you were all meant to Naruto run. Naruto run. That's the fastest way to reach. <laughs> At a huge fence. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, the amount of force, if you have enough people, you'd eventually knock down the fence, I imagine. All right. How many people would you need to knock over a, a large steel barbed wire fence then? I don't know. I'd say at, at, at least 100. Okay. I mean, or you could, all, you, you could use as a battering ram. Then yeah, like a, you could use him as like the juggernaut, just set him up running. Yeah, like the giant from uh, Clash of Clans. Just deploy him and he, <laughs> he takes all the hits. Yeah, if you all aimed at one fence like panel, that would be that's, physically, that's more pressure for a smaller point. So that'd be more damage. Hmm. Make a super dense human. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I on. imagine there are some quite dense people in America as well. Yeah, so. There are lots of dense... Um, sorry, Americans, <laughs> but just looking from the outside. Yeah, it's, uh, it's called satire. Get used to it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully they go from Washington to... Uh, where is Era 51? Is it Utah, Texas? Yeah. Nevada? No. I, no, I feel like it is Nevada. I think it is. Yeah, so hopefully they go there next. Maybe it's in they're, a big desert somewhere. They're like the the uh, the Avengers of democracy. They're just going to go wherever mm. the world needs them. <laughs> By the <laughs> Donald Trump needs them. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the thing as well. Like Trump, Trump, the day they were doing it was like, yeah, go on, lads, you got this. You're very special. And then the next day it was like, why'd you do that, guys? Come on, we weren't supposed to do that. I don't, that must have really confused them all. That almost sounds like a politician backtracking. <laughs> well, who, and now he's been banned that? from Twitter and Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic, Jurassic Park was his biggest platform, though. He had all the dinosaurs on his side. Well, they just confirmed that he's been banned on Twitter. So he been, he's been banned. He's been taken down on Facebook and Twitter. What about Instagram? I don't know if he has that. If and Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what about his Tumblr page? Has that been taken down? His what his, page? It's his Tumblr page. Oh uh, right. His, his MySpace is where all his fans are gone now. <laughs> LinkedIn profile. <laughs> you could still make those business connections. He's a sort of man you imagine that. playing out politics on Sims. <laughs> I think the Sims is probably too complicated for him. I feel like. Maybe maybe that's why he doesn't know English very well. Like he's he's played the Sims. He's, he's, in, he's, he's too immersed in the Sim language. A <laughs> uh, He's his first language is actually like the Sims language, and that's why his, his English is so poor. He's trying to translate it in his head. 
to whatever he's trying to say. Damn, they should have hired him as a Sims translator. Yeah. I saw um, a clip yesterday on a, like a quiz show of um, Katy Perry had to record a song, one of her songs. I, I saw that as well when she's singing the in um, the Simish. Yeah, that was crazy. How did that go? <laughs> well, as you can yeah. imagine. It felt like I was watching a dyslexia test, but like she smashed <laughs> it out of the park. Because imagine trying to sing like your song in basically Simish. In English, yeah. Gibberish. It's like going back to like GCSE French or something. Oh. Well, as long as Trump doesn't like long this out before, and Biden dies like in a cold snap or something, we might. When is right. your inauguration? Isn't it's it soon? Yeah, <laughs> you next week. So next week is around the fifteenth of January. We're saying. Yeah, I think it might. It, I think it's over the fifteenth or the twenty seventh. Okay. <laughs> 15 for 27. Will Joe in Biden January. make it that long? Final answer in January. Locked in. I don't know. Will Joe Biden make it to next week? The thing is, like, if are you a... assuming he's going to be assassinated or something? No, I don't think it'll be assassination. Or I think that he's a death strong storm. wind. Like, mm. he'll, he'll be walking up the steps to get inaugurated and a gust will come <laughs> and like, take him away in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> he'll never be seen again. Mm. Like that shot from Family Guy. Have you seen the episode... Where there's the old Nazi and he falls down one step and all his bones instantly break at once. <laughs> Joe Biden has basically missed a glass from Unbreakable at this mm-hmm. point. Because he broke his foot playing with his dog. So he can't even what? play with a dog. Without How was he playing with his dog? Was he I don't know if he, it? If, he to, if he just tried to punt the dog. <laughs> but I don't know. He... He must have fallen over, like, reaching for the ball or something. Or maybe the dog just thought he'd had enough and charged him. <laughs> he sensed his time to rise up and become the next president. <laughs> maybe, maybe the dog ran for president <laughs> in Biden's skin. <laughs> oh, whoa. Maybe Biden is like... Uh... You know in Men in Black, where they open that dude up and he's the little ro- alien controlling the, the tiny guy, yeah. Yeah, maybe it's like that. <laughs> Biden confirmed as first alien president. Has anyone ever heard him speak? What, Biden? Yeah. Yeah, many times. <laughs> <laughs> so he can't be a dog then? Oh, no. <laughs> no, maybe he just has dog translator and, I don't know, written into him. So, yeah, I think Donald Trump getting dethroned was up there with the low lights of the year for me. The what? Low. <laughs> what was the lowest point of 2020? Uh, there's a question. This is like the Razzies, but for a year. <laughs> mm. uh, I mean, Justin Bieber's. Or not? I mean, Justin Bieber's "Yummy" for me is probably the worst thing that happened. <laughs> oh, and then the I fact mean... that he like that Stan account made that post saying, "Get a VPN if you don't live in the US," and then just keep streaming it even while you're asleep. Make sure <laughs> it's just to make sure Justin gets the number one. That is desperate, isn't it? And then he reposted. It. To be fair, though, if anybody wants to stream this while they're asleep to get the views up, feel free. Like, we'll take it. We'll, we'll endorse it. Yeah. As, buy as many computers as possible. Make as many accounts as possible. You know, any means necessary. Just put it on repeat. <laughs> yeah. Listen to it. Enjoy it. And then just repeat it. So don't do any other nominations. Else. Don't go to work. Don't eat. Don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just have this. Oh. Do you really need to do the rest of the things? You know? I think it's unnecessary. Worst thing of the year? Worst thing of the year. Shall we say excluding COVID? Yeah. Wasn't that bad? <laughs> it wasn't exactly great. <laughs> COVID's been pretty serious. I don't know, I didn't have it. Ah, but did you? A good point. Pretty sure I didn't. I did fail. I did do a fail three tests. Could be that asymptomatic type. True. But COVID yeah, but right. then I doubt that all the people in my house are also asymptomatic. Possible, I guess. Possible, but you are right. Oh, yeah. If you are living with a, a larger family, you'd probably know if someone in the house had it or not. 
Yeah. Uh, worst but yeah, let, let, let's say um, excluding COVID, what what sort of other things went on in twenty twenty then? Top worst picks. What happened in twenty twenty? I mean, well, Australia we... being on fire, that wasn't I, very good. I completely forgot about that. I was listening to another podcast the other day, and they were talking about it was like from months ago, and they were talking about Australia being on fire, and I was like, oh my yeah. god, the year started with Australia just being like, nah, and just igniting. And then Trump bombed Iran. That was how he kicked off twenty twenty. Trump got five kills to unlock a cluster strike. And was just yeah, trying. but then he released it on the Capitol building. What was he thinking? <laughs> he was saving it for China. He knocked four people, but then they all got revived. 2020 was meant... Australia was on fire, which was bad for Australians and koalas alike. Particularly koalas, yes. Think oh. of the wombats. Think of the, what, the band or the animals. Were they tra- was the band trapped out there? Uh, not to my knowledge. He could have been doing like... an Australian tour. Was yeah, there could... a video of like a, a firefighter saving a koala that was just like, it looked like it'd been in Vietnam and been napalmed? Like, it was like... <laughs> That's what I would <laughs> that Koalas that... first, then people. <laughs> that, koala... <laughs> that koala was a war vet by the end of that. And then <laughs> apparently, the, the main reason why it spread so much was they used to have it. They used to clear large pieces of land in between the forests. And then all the vir- environmentalists were like, nah, stop clearing the forest, you're killing the planet. So they kept those patches, which meant that it could spread easier because those patches that they cleared were fire breaks. So if a bit did ignite, it didn't spread through all of it. But then they kept them because everyone was worried about climate change and stuff. And then Australia just set a like. As a Jew of climate, um, due to climate change, of course, so yeah, yeah, so lose, lose climate yeah. changes, destroy the world once again. Well, <laughs> I mean, this is just a start, really, it's not going to get any better, I'm afraid. I think one bad thing that came out of 2010 was um, Kanye lost the, the presidential run. That was devastating. How, did the, that how, picture I mean, how watched. far in the process did he get? Did he hit the submission button or not? He got 60k votes. Oh, okay. Which, across states. It wasn't just like the whole of Chicago voted for him. No. Was, like, in more... fact, he didn't get... Like, all of the states um, got lined out of all the ones that um, voted for him more than a thousand times, and Chicago wasn't even there. Oh. They probably... Voted Michael Jordan or something. I don't know. Is that who they normally vote for? <laughs> I didn't know Michael Jordan ran. <laughs> no, but uh, he's just such an icon there. Free Air Jordans for everyone who votes for me. <laughs> yeah. Kanye did really well in Tennessee for some reason. They just saw the vision. They just wanted Donda to be released. They were like, if we vote in it, maybe we'll drop it. But I mean, I think he did well to get that many votes considering he did one, pre- he did one rally. Where he had a breakdown about abortion. And uh, called Harriet Tubman a liar. (laughs) And, like, wore a bulletproof vest for some reason as well. You never know when an assassination attempt might come. Yeah, but he he wasn't wearing a helmet. (laughs) He wore a helmet? No, he wasn't. That's my point. If he was wearing an assassination, he was only wearing the vest. Mm. No, I I can't see Kanye being taken out. The... Apparently, the presidential run was the last straw in his marriage. With, oh. Um, him. That's why I Meanwhile, mean. um, Kanye hates all other Kardashians, and that's why he's had enough of being married to Kim. To be fair, <laughs> it seems like a quite a hard family to be in. Hmm. Like, you never know when you're getting filmed. What was this news about Kanye and Jeffree Star? Oh, so, but I don't know what happened, because like Kanye gets announced him and Kim are splitting. And then, like, moments later, this weird accusation comes out that Kanye has either had an affair with Jeffree Star or was dating Jeffree Star. And then... Jeffree Star has denied this. Yeah, Jeffree Star has denied um, it. Which someone pointed out last night it was being to. Okay. That's what you would do. You would I know, do. I know I'm going to sound dumb now, but who is Jeffree Star? I have so no basically, idea. Jeffree Star is like... It's the living equivalent every- of General Grievous. He looks like... <laughs> yeah. If General Grievous started a makeup business, that's Jeffree Star. He is looks... Jeffree Star a woman? 
I'm no, not convinced no, 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 Jeffree Star is real. I don't know. I don't want to, like... Well, Jeffree's a man's name. I'll Google it. I think he's a man. Oh, so... <laughs> So he is. I don't want to presume. It's like no, no. This is why I was unsure. I'd seen a picture and I was unsure on their gender, basically. He's released music with Nicki. I'm googling that. Apparently, he released a song in Nicki Minaj. She'll do anything for a check. (laughs) Wow. Especially just literally last night, uh, Tracy Chapman successfully sued her for. $450,000. $450,000. Wasn't that because he basically wrote one of her songs or wrote a song that was similar to hers? Yeah. No, it, it would, she, she deserved to get sued. Wow. Just had a baby there, no. Okay, so Jeffree Star is a man. I think he, he is acceptable. Does he identify as female, though? Or, uh, or do we just not know? I'm Googling it now. Well, there was a lot of outcry earlier in the year when he was pictured with a basketball player. Oh, what, what, do you know what player? Uh, I can't remember, but basically they worked okay. it out because of the tattoos. Oh, and that really right. upset Jeffree Star as well. Hmm. Wait, why is he not allowed to be around basketball people? Oh, no, they, were like, they were like kissing. Oh, okay. So he was in a relationship with a basketball player, yeah. Now Kanye West. What a year for Jeffree Star. This- yeah. So really, tw- what we've established here is 2020 was Jeffrey Star's year. Then, yeah, he had a not- he had a controversy as well, where his boyfriend, either husband or boyfriend, allegedly stole from him, and then they broke up. Oh, well, he's only been on the up from what I've seen. I mean, I, I don't really know <laughs> who they are. The thing is, he's gone from whoever his husband was to Kanye. So, imagine maybe, maybe they'll maybe they'll drop in the next Kanye album. What, Jeffree Star feature? Yeah. That's when we'll know if they're serious or not. This this article I found on Jeffree Star is a, a bit that which is, what are Jeffree Star's body measurements? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's three inches. <laughs> yeah, this, he's apparently six foot one. He's 73 kilograms, a slim body build, numerous tattoos, dyes his hair. Okay, well, That's not I've learned some... Much. Jeffrey Star fans. He's worth 18 million, though. Jesus. Wow. He's one of those. He's basically a makeup YouTuber. Okay. So he had. I think he had a palette controversy as well. Like he was one of the mm. ones. I think he was one of the ones who also ganged up on James Charles at some point. I don't think we're qualified to talk about Beauty Guru T. I don't want that kind of heat. <laughs> what you don't want? Um, what's her name? Tarty coming after you? No. Could That's why both. I'll only say nice things about beauty gurus and BTS. Yeah, oh, we yeah. um <laughs> if anyone's mistaken, we are Jeffree Star fans. Yes. Because I loved your, <laughs> I loved your work in Empire Strikes Back. Oh no, not Empire Strikes Back. Clone Wars. <laughs> I loved you in Clone Wars. He was in episode one, three, wasn't he? Was he not oh I thought he was in more than one. No, well, no. Grievous uh, in two and three, right? Was he in two? Okay, yeah, because I think he's in two, and then he dies in. Yeah. Spoiler alert: he dies immediately in three. <laughs> so, if so, my question then is: if General Grievous collects lightsabers, what does Jeffrey Star collect from his victims? Know, brushes. <laughs> Pardon? Brushes. Uh, makeup brushes. Oh, okay. Good answer. I don't think that's the angle <laughs> me and uh, Jam were thinking of. But... He stabs him with it. Um, <laughs> he stabs him. They've a sharpened end. He it's possible. A scary man. Like, I'm just looking at the pictures of him and like. He'd eat your soul, I think. I he does look a bit like a dementor. <laughs> he looks a bit like a dementor, but like has come out. He doesn't want to wear the grey. He doesn't want to wear the grey anymore. He wants to be his own person, but he will still suck the soul out of Harry Potter. And that's not a euphemism. I mean, literally. <laughs> no, I so my next question is, is then, is then Harry Potter, they use the Patronus charm to get rid of uh, the Dementors, what do you say, <laughs> to Jeffree Star? <laughs> I think they just collab. Maybe do some makeup. Let's collab. <laughs> 
Make Up has had a massive explosion on YouTube, though. It sort of came from, like, sort of nowhere to being one of the biggest money makers. He looks a bit like the Nickelback singer without any name. <laughs> he looks a bit like Chad Groger. So if Chad Groger and, like, Marilyn Manson had a child, that would be Jeffree Star. Hmm. I don't like thinking about Jeffrey Star for too long. It hurts my head. <laughs> yeah, let's um, let's move on to another topic. Um, what happens to Nickelback? Are they still a thing? When was the last time Nickelback did anything? Has anybody checked on Nickelback since <laughs> <Has anyone>? 2020? <laughs> yeah, the last thing I remember is seeing <laughs> a video of the rapper Sada Baby in a um in a bowling alley just singing all the words to um, this is how you remind me of who I really am, and that was really funny. Who was that singing it? Uh, just a rapper. It was, uh, it was just really unexpected. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, you I always forget Nickelback exists, and then stuff like that happens. Yeah, they were around for such a short time, but at the same time, such a long time. Like, <laughs> it's a long time awesome. before you're getting his hate. Yeah. Do you know why they're called Nickelback? Fun story. No. No. <laughs> Chad Groger. Kroger he used to work in a coffee shop and people used to always order his coffee and he used to be go, Oh, here's for the change, he used to be like, Oh, here's your nickelback. Uh, you know? right. And he Did was like, Oh, that's a good back. name for a very average rock band that will last about twenty minutes in the early two thousands. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they got their that's how they got their name. Uh who so Nickelback didn't die in twenty twenty, but who oh. did we lose in twenty twenty? It was Kobe. Yeah. In the helicopter. Diego Maradona. Do we they weren't even what? COVID related. Yeah. Well, was, um, still do we know what Maradona's um, cause of death was or not? Heart attack, I think. Oh, okay. It was either an aneurysm or a heart attack. Okay. I thought it was an aneurysm. Kobe was um, smashing into the side of a mountain. I think well, was, obviously a, a tragic event, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah so we managed to like, nearly so. lose Kim Jong-un twice. <laughs> but but he, yeah, he still is here? Yeah, he is indestructible. And when, glor- when they got COVID, thing. do you remember there was that story of one person had it and then they just got killed? They got Didn't uh, they blow assassin- up? Well. well, I don't know how they did it, but I just want to know how the hell it got to North Korea. I thought no one was allowed in or out. It had the correct papers at the board. Uh, so it mm. had a visa, and they were like, well, welcome in. It was Michael Palin got let in for a documentary. Got to honour that. <laughs> Top tier guys got let in, and then COVID. Those are the three people that have been allowed. I saw it was Borat. But, uh... Has Borat been to North Korea? I assume Borat's been to most countries. He's a, a well-loved... Well yeah, I thought it was only like Kazakhstan and America. I don't know. Have you, have you seen the latest Borat film? No, Actually, I no, yeah, he did go to a lot of places. Okay, he, top um, he meant top hangers in Hong Kong, didn't he? <laughs> there is. There's a bit of a spoiler, but um, the cause of COVID, according to Borat, is Borat. They uh, infected infected him with COVID, and he uh, delivered it to the nations around the world as a present the from the glorious Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, the um, the actual Kazakh um, tourist. Um, I'm not sure what organization, but they changed their official slogan to come to Kazakhstan or something. It's very nice. Oh, really? Yeah. you got to respect that. Yeah. I think they've embraced the meme, to be honest. Sean Connery died recently as well, didn't they? A couple of weeks ago. He did. Yeah. The rapper MF Doom. The, MF the Doom. villain. Pop Smoke died this year. I've got oh, a list yeah, in front right of me. Pop- was he the one? Was Pop Smoke the one who had the the, the terrible album cover for his debut album? The Virgil Abloh made. Did you? Yeah. So basically, yeah. he he paid. <laughs> they paid Virgil to design it, <laughs> and it looked like he got a load of clip art from Word, and just like they paid him like thousands and thousands of dollars to do the like Pop Smoke's first album, like posthumously, Postum- posthumously, and um. It looked awful. Like I could have done better on PowerPoint or something like that. I could have done better. <laughs> I could have done better on Crayon, to be honest. It was awful. So they made it. They made, I think they used a fan entry in the end. 
Just because Virgil's like an actual designer's one was so bad, they the fans just sent loads. They got clowned so much that they could not use it. Oh, Bill Withers, he died as well early on. That one. Six Nine got released from prison. Was that twenty twenty? Want to say? And then he released two awful songs. Didn't and didn't they he release the whole album number one, one though? Song. <laughs> I don't think he did. I think he, his sales were quite bad, and I ended up. I saw a video of him giving away like the CD just on the street. <laughs> That's how he had so parole. many that no one bought. That's his community service. He had to give well, away. Who's buying? But who's buying CDs in twenty twenty? I still buy CDs. To be honest, I like True. the uh, the um. I don't know the physical having it and being yeah, like. That's I, true. I mean, I I still buy vinyls, but yeah, rarely. yeah, me too. I don't have. I don't buy vinyls. But what what vinyls have you got then? What's your? Well, mine are mainly hand downs from my parents. So I've got mainly eighty sorts. So I've got Earth, Wind, and Fire. Got uh, I've got Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, I've got um, Stevie Wonder, Master Blaster. It's a great record. I've Called the well. Gang. Um, I've got Ten CC. Rubber Benz, I think. Yeah. What's your favourite? What's the favourite one you've got? Rumours by Fleetwood Mac. It's just, there's not a bad song on it, in my opinion. Interesting. What about you, Tom? What have you got? Uh, I've got uh, I've got so many of my record holders nearly full. Oh, flex. <laughs> uh, I think probably My Beautiful Dark Just a Fancy is my favourite one. I imagine that would be a great vinyl just to sit on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the like the design and everything of the the insides are pretty cool. Does Although annoyingly like the, album, the uh, yeah, but annoyingly the disc that has the uh, the original artwork on it is censored for some reason, which is just what? dumb. <laughs> so it's just blurry. Oh, oh. yeah, that's a bit bit of a shame. It is a bit of a shame. I got to pimp a but to pimp a butterfly as well on vinyl. Nice. Uh, yeah. I mean, my I love. What was that last one? Sorry. Awaken my love, the uh, Charles Gambino. Yeah, yeah. These are all very good, um, sort of orchestral albums. That be yeah, good. more of the sort of modern stuff being released on vinyl. Yeah. I think, I, like I said, most of mine are older records, but I, I th- I've bought some recent ones, but they're more sort of playful ones, like the um, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One and Two records yeah. on vinyl. Yeah. I have you got the the Shrek soundtrack on vinyl. No, I, I don't know if that's a thing or not. But if it is, I'm it buying it. <laughs> and the, the the disc should look like Shrek's head, like the middle bit <laughs> should look like Shrek's face. Spin and ogre head, yeah. And, and we should. Oh my god. We That'd definitely need to do a um a Shrek uh, music tier list as well. Oh, that would be good. We know. So, we I mean, know Shrek Two has a god tier soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. Shrek One has All Star on it though. Like it does. That. When he comes out of the toilet. And Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Not a huge fan of Hallelujah. I thought that was really it's, good it's, in it's put re- Yeah, it's put really well in. It's like placed really well. Yeah. It's bit, Shrek is actually on today. Like, I was on the telly today. So. Oh, really? Do you reckon Shrek is on every day on some <laughs> channel somewhere in the world? It never stops rolling. So the you moment one Shrek watch film the finishes, day, another starts. That's a, there must be some. Oh, I would, I suppose I was just gonna say there must be some program that's always on somewhere, but that would be the news. But I mean, there must be some film that's popular enough and like non-offensive enough to be on in every time zone at some point. I mean, ITV make a good job of having Crocodile Dundee or one version <laughs> of on the TV at all. <laughs> Do you reckon they allow Shrek in North Korea? I don't know. Does it look too much like Kim Jong Un? Will they take it personally? Mm. Well, it's also, a hell on also Earth, Shrek so rises up against Farquaad, so that could that could be dodgy. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> true. Spark an uprising of the nation. <laughs> Fiona uh, chooses a, a literal ogre over a short man, so <laughs> they may not. Oh, um... short king. Short king. <laughs> oh, no. Although I feel like Kim Jong Un looks like a a taller man. I feel like. I feel like he's still five. Something. Which, there's nothing wrong with being five something. Like no, that. of course not. Come on. It's well, he's a great ruler, so who cares how tall he is? Three. I'm, I'm trying to Google his height, and I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> they won't disclose the thing, that kind like, of I'm worried 
if I Google about Kim Jong Un too much, I'm just going to see a little red dot come into my room. <laughs> <laughs> and my my computer will crash. I'll see a message saying, "Our glorious leader knows you know." I'm five foot seven. Yeah, yeah I got I'm five foot good. seven as well for um for the man. But if you go onto the Great Korean website, the official one, it probably says about uh, nine foot two. Yeah, and if you search his weight, well, they probably won't release that. No. Oh, it says it says 136 kilograms or 300 pounds here. Really? For that? Oh my word! That's which I think is the weight of an, which is pretty heavy for like, I imagine, that's pretty heavy for like a rugby prop, I imagine. Yeah, he. I'm sure Kim Jong Un would be a very good rugby prop. And also, I think, <laughs> I think strong, like strong men for like world's strongest man and stuff aren't even that heavy. No. What? Is, how much does the beast weigh? You would love to see him play rugby, Kim Jong Un, but his ankles would just snap. The thing is, though, he'd be running with the ball, and he'd have like four soldiers in front of him, just shooting anyone that came to tackle him, <laughs> so that he could. You know, when they get like a kid wins like a Make a Wish thing, and they all dive out of the way, so he scores the try. It's like when Boris batted that child in Japan <laughs> with yeah, the ball in his hand. Boris has got a good step on him. If you watch that, he was going for it, even though it was. Tight. <laughs> he was, yeah, he's. On his way around him, just forgot the kid was in the way. If it was contact, he would have been through. That would have been a try. Mm. The kid took it well, though. The kid just got sat on by Boris, and he just got up and got on with it. Have you seen that video of um, Boris in the um, the soccer aid, where he literally just like puts his head down and rugby tackles someone? Yes, yeah, I have. Oh, my God. I mean... He can't even see the person he's running at, so I don't see how he was <laughs> planning on tackling him. I mean, that was definitely a man a ball situation, and he was going for the man. Maybe that's why he rambles so much, because he's, he's trying to use echolocation secretly. <laughs> so that's why he's always going... Because <laughs> he's reverbering it and trying to see where he is. I can see that being played out. Mm. No sport, though. Well, no soccer aid, probably, this year. I don't know. Although, they did it last year, actually, so it might go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Because uh, oh, Chunks Chuck... left the nation yeah. of England down. Chunks <laughs> yeah. penalty. And then he got, he got uh, custard pie by Maya Jama. Oof. He went on a date with uh, Maya Jama, and then she, like, just rejected. They really uh, blew up in 2020, didn't they? The... The chunks as well. That squad, the beta squad. Beta squad, yeah, they're good. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm not. I don't know if I really like chunks. To be honest, I've not seen any of their content. I just know them now. Though. Oh, That's you've got to you've got to watch Nico Milano. I think he's like the best YouTuber out. He is funny. Mm. I uh, yeah, I've seen the 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 side main crossover where they um we spikes the uh the cupcakes with the one of the world's hottest chilies or whatever <laughs> oh okay yeah, yeah they do some good things they do like a series where they get a group of five people and they have to guess which one is something so they've done like guess the crook they did guess the black man so they all had they had them all in more <laughs> that was brilliant <laughs> and they asked them questions like where are you originally from and stuff and things like that and um they did guess the millionaire they've only got one wrong so far it's quite funny hmm um, was 2020 when lots of things got shut down for um, people with historically blackface as well? I think it was. Oh, yeah, after all the Black Lives Matter things, didn't it? There was a big... Mm-hmm. Sort of yeah, thing. that's right. Little Britain got taken down. Little Come Britain. Come fly with me. Yeah. One episode of um, Community where Chang was in blackface got taken off Netflix. Oh, really? Literally one really? episode. Hmm. But everything that Pierce says <laughs> was ignored. Yeah, well, I, that's why I don't understand. <laughs> um, then an episode of Forty Towers got the for, the actually the episodes of Forty Towers with um you know don't mention the war. That that's episode. that's uh, Dad Sammy. No, no, no. That's in the there's a Forty Towers episode where he's got German visitors to the hotel. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. And he yeah, starts two right. stepping around them and stuff. That got yeah. Crazy. Uh, right. <laughs> I don't know why, though. I mean, to uh, be honest, the other big 2020 takeaway for me was the fact that uh, Belarus never went into lockdown. 
They kept it real the whole time. <laughs> didn't you go That's... to Belarus? No, I didn't. I wish I did. I thought That's because moved. vodka cures COVID. Yeah, you... vodka and sultanas. That's what you mean. <laughs> Are those the main diet things in Belarus? <laughs> I, I imagine so, yeah. <laughs> but I, 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 was, I was actually Googling how they handled the pandemic. Their leader denied it existed <laughs> and then got it. <laughs> And still has a, still isn't really calling it a big problem because he was asymptomatic. That's a bit of like Trump, isn't it? Though? Yeah, yeah, really. Or like, or and, like... um, they've literally masks have become um, mandatory in some states, like from November. That was when the first ones came in. <laughs> Until then, they were living normal. In life. November, wow. Yeah. So, so only like two months. Mm-hmm. I assume in Belarus, though, that um. The. <laughs> the, the, those who don't survive on the amount of alcohol they drink would have already been taken by COVID. Yeah, so you've got to have quite a strong immune system to make it over there. Yeah. But the thing is, when you think about it, all the hand gels made out of alcohol, so if you're drinking enough alcohol, you're basically just cleansing yourself, aren't you? Oh, true. Well, so it, it's like doing a juice. Not to get immune. Maybe he was right. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, but I just saw a series science. where alcohol reduces your immune system. <laughs> Damn it. My scientific theory has already been disproved. <laughs> um, drink hand sanitizer. Does that work? That's Trump suggested. Oh, Trump suggested that, didn't he? He and said drink bleach, yeah. Yeah, he said drink antiseptic. Or not antiseptic, antibacterial and stuff. And then he said <laughs> about getting the light in the body. So what, just shove a light bulb up your ass and see <laughs> and cure COVID. Just to open your mouth and head it towards something the that Trump would do, though. Yeah. Photo- <laughs> you need to you need to photosynthesize. Maybe he's so orange because he has a light on the inside and it's just bursting through his skin. Maybe so. Trump is actually a giant lamp that's become sentient. I can see that happening. <laughs> sentient lamp. Sentient lamp. It's the new Marvel hero. <laughs> they can't release anything because they've just filmed a lamp. Because <laughs> that all got cancelled, didn't it? All of the, the well, basically the whole film industry, but all the Marvel plans they had has been pushed back. Oh, t- did yeah, they still not they still not release Black Widow, even though they could release it on um Disney Plus. I feel like people would watch it on Disney Plus. Yeah, didn't it wasn't Tenet and Borat two the only films that came out last year? <laughs> Pretty well, I, I'm Soul as well on um Pixar. Oh, they really yeah, saw. To be fair, Borat and Tenet are very similar films, aren't they? So... Are they? <laughs> These are the pod. I've not seen Tenet yet. Apparently, it makes no sense. I enjoyed like... it. Was it good? Yeah. I didn't really. I feel like I understood it as much as the character, the main character, which was good. Because <laughs> he sort of. I don't think he really knew what was going on either. Even though Robert Pattinson explained it to him many times. <laughs> Was Robert Pattinson a, a vampire in it? By any no, no, he was playing Batman in it. Yeah. What? Yeah. He's, he's Batman. He's the new Batman, yeah. I didn't yeah. realise Batman was in Tenet, though. Oh, I thought that's how it worked. Oh, just like, he's not. there's not much crime when everyone's in lockdown, so he's got to, <laughs> he's got to, he's got to just find something to do. on this train, yeah. Yeah, where was he while the Capitol building was getting stormed? I would have loved to see that. Probably Surely, that's a Batman. Surely that's a Batman level crime to stop. Yeah. Mm. Where was it? Where is Gotham in the relationship to Washington? Maybe. Well, that's Ma- Manhattan, right? Well, I mean, it's, isn't Gotham like a fictional Manhattan? I don't know, because the fictional Manhattan is, is um, Metropolis, where Superman lives, isn't it? Oh, whoa. I think Gotham is based off, like, Either Chicago or Boston or somewhere like that. Huh. Some place where there's loads of crime, you know. Well, I think that Chicago is the murder capital of America. Oh, wow. Well, I don't remember much gun crime in um, Batman. Batman doesn't use guns. like just random super criminals stealing stuff. Yeah. There was no Joker at the storming of the building, was there? Dancing no. around. Well, they were all Jokers, really. Oh, satire. I don't know what they were hoping to achieve, though. I'm just really confused by Americans. 
Do you think, think Trump was going to stay? I don't know. I just think they thought all the Democrats were going to go, oh, you've made, you've made it very clear. We obviously didn't win this. Come on, lads. You're back in. <laughs> <laughs> the Biden crime family rigged the election. The Biden crime family. <laughs> and, the, and the media's letting them get away with it. Didn't even Fox News turn against Trump? Like, even the one thing that Trump had going for them. The one thing? He's got hotels and businesses. And he was in Home Alone as well, to be fair. Like, and he's cut him from that. Pardon? Did they cut him from the um, Home Alone film he was in? I don't think so, no. Oh. And he was in an episode of um, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Really? Yeah. He's got a good IMDB going. Uh, well, America, sort yourself out, man. Otherwise, we'll sort you out. Yeah, we will invade again. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone to pot since the, uh, their uh, Boston Tea Party. Yeah. I think the main conclusion we've come to is that it was better when the UK ran everything. So, maybe and I'll happily just... die on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> Re, let's twenty twenty one new resolution finish Brexit recolonize. Yes. Take uh, back. <laughs> take back what was rightfully ours all those years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we conquered it fair and square. <laughs> find, it, find his keepers. That's like the the British Museum, isn't it? It's like a museum just full of stuff we stole and we're not giving yeah. back. <laughs> it's like you can pay to come in to see the stuff that is really important to your <laughs> Which we stole. stole. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't have it back. You can look at it, though. Yeah, and then please buy a pencil sharpener from the gift shop or something. Make it worth our while. Brexit got done as well. We're now officially out, I think. So yeah, we are. Yeah. But I've, we looked at, um, as well. I've looked at the travel um, restrictions and nothing has changed so far. Is that well, good? There's, uh, there's a sort of intermission period now, isn't there? <laughs> Half time where we switch ends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you're leaving the UK. <laughs> <laughs> that is some, an old switcheroo they could pull. To make it look better. Don't think of it as us leaving the EU. Think of it as the EU leaving us. And taking the kids. Well, more like they're leaving us on the doorstep. <laughs> yeah, with just a box to take away full of our stuff. Uh, yeah. Is anything going to... Ch- Tom, did you vote for Brexit? I wasn't old enough to vote. Oh. Did None you? Of- no. No. I'm not a legal Were we old enough or not? I can't no, remember. it didn't stop everyone complaining about it, though, which is really annoying. The day <laughs> after it happened. I well, was everyone... pretty anti, though, to be honest. Oh, really? I thought with your anti masker vibe, you'd be pro. Yeah, but I like travelling the, the continent. Hmm. True, it is going to make it... Um, well, that's just a, that a bit more problematic yeah, when it comes to it. I managed except, to get one more trip in before. Yeah, except for one person on this call who has a uh, EU passport. I do indeed. So, Jam, um, I'd like to take this opportunity to say, I've always loved you. Uh, will you be my husband? <laughs> I mean, yeah, why not? Because then we can... We can Wait, travel. are uh, wedding events still going ahead or not? I'm not sure. I don't know. I think you have to roll a dice and that tells you how many people you're allowed there. Nice. Okay, let's do it. I think that's the new restriction. Um, so yeah, I've won a Dutch passport now. I can go travel. Mm-hmm. Oh, that just reminds me of this tweet I saw where they screenshotted a picture of um, Boris Johnson at the start of the year saying, I can't wait for a brilliant 2020. I think this was just after he got elected. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, how, and then how, so that was how it is in January and then how it was at the end. And it was just one of the restrictions where it says, you can sit on a bench. <laughs> 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 You may look outside of windows. Oh, that's a that's a treat and tearful. But if you look outside for too long, Pretty Patel appears and starts like telling you not to. Turn she, around. She appears with a stick and goes, "Oh, hey, that's enough looking. Come on." 
Save some Turn around, around. Look at your wall. <laughs> look at the walls like the rest of us. We're in lockdown until February or possibly March now. Yeah, like uh, most of the UK, to be honest. Yeah, well, the whole of the UK, except from... Well, actually, no, What are the rules different in Wales? Well, typically, the Welsh didn't want to do what the English were doing. So, you know, in England, you have the tier system, and then now the lockdown. So the Welsh made the alert system. So there's alert one to four, and everyone has been put in alert four until, I don't know, late February, maybe. I think there's no announced end date yet. Uh, well, I just don't think that the the UK is not. It's like the UK is like a boy band towards their end of their career. None mm. of them, no of the countries are getting on. Everyone wants to do their own solo projects. Scotland wants to go it alone, you know, start a career. So if Scotland was a One Direction member. Who would they be? Oh, Scotland would be. Should they be Styles? Like, mm. Scotland would be Styles. I feel like Wales would be Zayn. <laughs> And Ireland can have Niall back. Yeah, <laughs> Ireland, no, he's just happy to be there. He's Wait, is he him. actually, is he Northern Irish or is he actually from the Republic of Ireland? Pass. Pass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he released music last year because he was on Graham Norton. Did he? Yeah. It was a shame what? for us all. <laughs> <laughs> I did not listen to that. Oh, have you seen the controversy about Harry Styles wearing a dress? No. Basically, Harry Styles wore a dress for um, like a Vogue shoot and all these right-wing Americans were like, stop killing all manly men. How are we going to fight wars without manly men? <laughs> and stuff like that. It was so but, but Styles fought in uh, the Second World War. He was at Dunkirk. He's a hero. He is a war, yeah. a war vet. He can wear a dress if he wants. He fought yeah. for our region. What has the other one done? Louis Tomlinson. What has he done? Uh, he's made some trashy songs. Oh. so like... and, uh, and knocked up Cheryl. Knocked Which out? Cheryl? Well, formerly Cheryl Cole. I can't remember what her Wait, name is. It's her Cheryl. Insert new last name here. Wait. Yeah. Isn't, isn't she like 20 years older than him? Yeah. She was, um, she was on the X Factor panel when he was auditioning. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. That's uh, that's nepotism at its finest. Isn't it? Everyone knows her for being called Cheryl Cole. Yeah, she was Cheryl Cole, and then she was Cer- Cheryl, like zucchini or something like that. So she. Fernando she's, zucchini. she's thirty-seven, and Liam is twenty-seven. Okay. That's not too bad. Ten years. Yeah. It's... Not if as much was, as I thought. If it was, she's 27, Liam's 17. Who, who's the Maybe. one who, who's dating the model Gigi? That's Hadid. Zane, isn't it? That's Zane. Oh, yeah, okay. And then Harry Styles is dating and some other older woman. Because uh, Harry Styles went out of Caroline Flack. Really? I think oh. so. One of them went out of Caroline Flack. Someone else we lost this year. No, it was... Um, who's the... Liam Payne? He, he's dating Cheryl Cole. Oh. I swear, what, one of them went out of Caroline Flack. You know what, I don't really track the 1D members that much. To be <laughs> no. I sound like, I sound like I've got a wall with like, all their pictures on with everyone who they dated. I haven't. Honest. All the, um, the only one I remember is that one of them said, you get plane lag, I get jet lag. <laughs> that sounds like a great bar. It That's does, cool. but I think it was... The Louis one. The Louis one. They came. They the classic X Factor thing. They came second, didn't they? And then, well, the winner never does yeah. that well, from what I think. No, because One Direction came second. JLS came second. Uh, Ollie, what's his name? Uh, Ollie. Ollie Murphy. Yeah, he came second. I th- think. Um, no, Alexandra Burke won it. But yeah, basically, if you come first on the X Factor, you're going to go work in Asda in the next couple of years. <laughs> it's not as bad. muck it up on the final day. Yeah. It's not as bad as winning The Voice, though, where you just get locked in a room and never seen again. 
think that goes for anyone. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any winner of The Voice to go on to do anything. No. All I know about The Voice is that they change the judges like every 20 minutes. Not true. Tom Jones and Will I Am have been there since season one. Are they still on it? Wow. The Voice. <laughs> I remember. I don't think I've watched this on the funny. ITV, so I don't know if he still does it. But Tom Jones used to know every Welsh candidate. Or <laughs> That's he was always like, "Oh yes." <laughs> she was like, "Oh, so where are you from in Wales?" And then she'd say a bunch of like, in conspicuous things you couldn't really understand. And he was like, "Oh yes, I know it well." <laughs> <laughs> Oh. At this point, is he just stuck to the chair? Can he get out? <laughs> he's actually tried to leave, but they took away his walking stick. And he can't he's, get been, off. he's been he can't spinning get around off so much, like the centrifugal forces have just got him stuck to the chair. His legs have gone numb, he can't feel them. He can't get up without assistance. <laughs> he, he thinks the button is the button for the nurse to come <laughs> and help him out of the chair. <laughs> he hits it, and then he's spinning around, he's going, Oh God, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tom Jones, man. Tom Jones. Absolute icon, that man. Yeah. I think Rita Ora has now joined it. That famous, like, I, I don't know one Rita Ora song. I don't. She had that illegal party, didn't she? She had a party for her birthday during COVID. Loads of people being breaking COVID rules. That's the annoying thing. Celebrities keep just like being like, oh, yeah, we're rich and famous. We're going to have parties. I think no one was worse than Carl Walker. He had a he had an orgy with some higher prostitutes. <laughs> I swear, so did Grealish, didn't he? Grealish had a well, him and his mate like had either a prostitute round or an orgy or something. I'm That's not sure true. about Grealish, but when Mason Greenwood and Phil Foden were in Iceland, they hired not didn't hire, but they asked these two very attractive Icelandic models to come round. Yeah, but I read he'd been talking to that model since the, what was it? The, not the World Cup in Iceland, but there was like some Euros in Iceland or something like that. 2016, yeah. But um, yeah, he'd been talking to her. But in 2016, he would have been, what, he's like 20, Foden? He would have been no, young. Okay. Maybe he, he been wasn't 16, talking to yeah. her. But she, maybe <laughs> she'd been at an event. They knew yeah. each other beforehand, basically. But I thought both Foden and Greenwood had partners, but whatever. Uh, well, not anymore, if anything. Well, one of them's got a kid, so... <laughs> yeah, Foden's a dad. Yeah. And what, he's 19, 18? I don't know. Mm, crazy. Well, yeah, 2020, the year of celebrities just throwing parties. And the uh, year where Schalke managed to go a whole year and only won one game. One. In oh, fact, no. they they were set to break the record, but unfortunately they won today, so they didn't. Wait. They, they went 30 games without winning, Jeez. but they just beat Hoffenheim 4-0 literally just if now. It, if anything, that's like that just shows how bad they are at winning. Like They can't even win the worst team. Where are they in the league then? Are they rock bottom? They've actually gone second bottom with this win. Oh. <laughs> Because Mainz have also not won a game, but they managed to win last year, I think. Okay. Because they, they, Schalke was sixth, and then they ended up not winning. A, they won one game after January, so they managed to just about stay up. That's like now the, this um, year they've been terrible as well. The Jets, the Jets in in the NFL were like two and thirteen or something. And they is there were a like, record? Oh. Has anyone ever won? Lost every single game in the NFL? I think they must do because after a certain point you kind of get to the idea of uh, not necessarily losing on purpose but if you become large you get the first draft pick don't you so oh for real i didn't yeah. know that. yeah so whoever comes last gets the pick in the draft the first pick so it's that the idea is that so if you're luck if you're the worst team you don't wait the worst are you telling me the, the year before the bulls signed jordan they were bottom no, 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 this is NFL, not NBA. Oh, right, I thought you said him. Okay, my bad. I think it, I think oh, yeah, it works the, last the same. The Last Dance in NBA. came out this year as well, didn't it? That was, that was a great thing. documentary. That was amazing. That, that was, was sick. Just like... That's like, all my basketball knowledge is from <laughs> The Last Dance. <laughs> <start. laughs> I think everyone has learned a lot more about basketball from that one documentary. Yeah. That was better than Tiger King, because that came out last year as well. Ooh, I don't know I about think, that. 
No, Last Dance was No, I, I can stand with that statement. I think what? The Last Dance was better. Oh, thank you. I, thought, I yeah. enjoyed them both, but I think just the sheer ridiculousness of Tiger King and the hilarity made it better for me. I would like to say I watched Tiger King before it became popular, so I'm taking all credit for that becoming popular. <laughs> yeah, you, you, told, you told me to watch it. See, Netflix, send me a check. You're welcome. I'm out here networking. <laughs> networking. <laughs> I told one person to watch it. I probably told about three people to watch it, actually. So what's that, like 30p at least? <laughs> They're also going to fine you because Tom's bootlegging off your Netflix account <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, you Tom, also I... gave me your password. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. Netflix, if you listen, I didn't. Honestly. Hush, hush. Oh, gosh, yeah, but Last Dance was good. Last Dance was really interesting, and yeah. especially when like, they had like, um, I think the best bit was when they had a player explaining a situation, and then they played that player explaining the situation to another person, and they like just like the other person called them out or like destroyed their side of the story and stuff. That was so funny because there was one like Michael Jordan had a fight with a guy from like. Magic or someone, or like, it wouldn't be magic, it would have been. Oh, I know who Detroit you're on Rams. about. It was the Pistons, yeah. The guy yeah. Did, where the Pistons played really aggressively, and he explained it. And then they showed it to Michael Jordan, and he was just like, No, nah, that's not what happened. Come on, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were also the ones who didn't clap when they won, right? They just walked out. Oh, yeah, like, uh. The disrespect, yeah. yeah. Are they still taking a knee in um, football? Or in the Premier it? League, they are, yeah. Yeah. Because most other sports have stopped that now. Wow, yeah. I can't believe um, the Millwall fans booed. That was unbelievable. Yeah. Outrageous. I think that was the, the Mill- only game in front of a crowd as well. <laughs> yeah, their only game. They, they didn't stay in Tier 2 very long in London. I mean, they shouldn't have been in it in the first place. That was ridiculous. Yeah. Well, did you see that thing about Slough, where everywhere around Slough was Tier 2, and then there was just this little red sliver that was Slough in Tier 3, and the, <laughs> the MP for Slough was like, Boris, why do you, what did we do? <laughs> well, I mean, Slough should be, is one of the places that should be struck from the map. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of Slough. Slough's gone. I mean, I'm just here it. Slough, it's not a place anyone would want to visit with a name like no. that. Where else should we get rid of? Like <laughs> Sheppy, but <laughs> yeah. Grimsby. I think with Sheppy though, we just get rid of the bridge and see what happens. Set some like cameras up. Oh, it could no, be that... Ashton's new series. It could be like our planet, like our Sheppy. And, like, they'll Sheppy. evolve and they'll they'll make their way across the channel. Oh damn! If we direct them towards France, though, the French, the French is probably... true. True. I think Thanet. Can we get rid of Thanet? Just the whole of it. I like bits of Thanet. Broadstairs is nice. All right, we'll keep Broadstairs then. But they were the reason we went into the Tier 4, weren't they? Well, no, Sway or Medway were two of the highest oh, areas. Well. Let's just get rid of everywhere. Now everywhere in England is the highest area. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the quality at its finest, you know. Everyone gets equal opportunities to sit in the house and scream at the walls. Well, 2021 hasn't exactly started as everyone would have wanted. Right, I am desperate for the loo. <laughs> I think that's a good place to end then. Yeah. So one. Well, a little bit of a ramble. Covered quite a lot. Uh, basically, we don't like Slough, is what we've discovered. Jeffrey Star is General Grievous. <laughs> 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 and uh, the last dance is very enjoyable. So. Um, yeah, and with that said... Thank you for listening. We'll let Jan go for a wee. And I guess we'll say goodbye until next time.